Welcome to the Green Wasp Removal YouTube channel. In this episode, we continue training and mentoring the Manchester University Wasp Survey Team on August 27th and 29th of 2023, as we were called to remove a bald-faced hornet's nest from a tree in the front yard of a private residence. Due to the work and school schedules of the residents at this location, we only had a brief time in the morning to remove this nest and prevent swarming before the residents started exiting the home. So we decided to bag the nest as quickly as possible to capture most of them in the nest. And we took the nest back to base and we froze it in dry ice. This flash freezes the entire nest and all of the wasps inside it. This preserves the venom for venom immunotherapy, or VIT. We then collected the rest of the returning foraging wasps who were out there looking for the nest that had now been bagged up and removed and we froze them as well. The process we use when we bag a nest is to freeze the entire thing inside the bag, and then we dump out the loose wasps once they're frozen, and we bag them up separately. Then we cut open the nest, and we shake out whatever wasps are still inside the nest on the brood comb. Unfortunately, in this process, when you bag a nest, we can't save the brood comb because we have to freeze the whole thing before we open it up. This is the reason we don't often use the bag technique, but sometimes it's necessary when you have to do a very quick removal and you have to keep the swarm down to the absolute minimum. So let's take you back to August 27th and we'll show you the entire job. Thanks for being here. We hope you enjoy the show. August 27th, 2023. Very large, active, bald-faced hornet nest, very mature. Looks like it's in a maybe overgrown lilac bush. Quite a large nest. So that one's a little too close to where people mow the lawn and walk through here to get around on this property. So it's gonna be pretty important that we get rid of this one. We'll collect it for VIT. I see at least two entrances here. There's a side entrance that's very active. Also a bottom entrance at the very bottom of the nest that also appears to be active. So we'll use both vacs on this nest.
But as you can hear, we have the entire nest contained in this bag. There's hundreds of uh, very angry bald-faced hornets in here. So here we have the bag in dry ice. We're just going to freeze the whole thing. The temperature will kill them within about 10 minutes, maybe 15, but we're going to leave it in there longer than that just to freeze the entire nest. That way we don't get any escape bees. All right, let's see what you got. Nice, look at that. They're all clustered up, that's perfect. All right, cool. Almost down, I only see a couple here and there. So yeah, there's really not that many left, actually. That's perfect. Hit them at the right time. All right, so Trey is just following up. The last few foragers are up here in the corner of the ladder. They're right about there. So he's gonna try to get them from underneath. I got the ladder. Here comes another one. If you get that nozzle down, he might fly right in. Got two or three on the back corner outside. Coming right under the same corner in a minute. As you can see, they keep clustering right here, and Trey is able to get them with the back as he keeps it in the right spot. All right, great. Now let's pull it down to about in here, right about there. And I think you'll get a few right there because they're coming in, exploring that corner. There's one camping on the outside right now. They are committed to get up in there. Look at that. Yeah, they like the very tight, enclosed spaces. It's yeah, so I guess cool so. That. So go ahead and grab that one. It just climbed right up in there. You got it? I don't know. That's a great question. Where they like to be for now. I think you got it. Here comes another one. Yeah, look, got him. Perfect. Fantastic. All right. Keep it right there for a bit. August 29th, 2023. Here are some extra foragers we collected that had returned to the nest site after we pulled it from the tree. We're gonna freeze them. Meanwhile, the rest of the nest in the bag is still chilling. We're gonna give that at least 30 minutes in the dry ice to completely solidify it, and then we will pull it out and collect them for VIT. 
So we just pulled the bag out of the dry ice container and we're going to take a look at it now. Hopefully we have a number of bald faced hornets. It had been frozen solid. You might hear some others. They're up here in these containers. They're going to get frozen next. These are all frozen completely solid. So we just scoop them now right into the bag. Here's our frozen bald face nest. We're going to cut it up and take a look at it today. We'll pull out our frozen wasps and use them for VLT. The wasp are frozen solid like little ice cubes. Brood comb we had to freeze, so we're not going to be able to save it for VIT later on. Normally we would save that and relocate it into captivity, but today 
we had to freeze the entire mess because it came in a bag. We bagged it on site. And when we do that, there's no way to get the brood comb uh, easily out of there. So that's about all of the adult wasps we can work with. So I'm going to sort them real quickly and put them into a bag. And from here, they go right into a chest freezer. Fair number of bald faced hornets ready to go to BIT. So now that we've frozen most of the collection, we can take a closer look at the cone. It's a very good active nest. So we have two of the biggest. Still had quite a number of pupating wasps that would have come out of this. And here's some more here. These are most likely queen cells that were being constructed, reproductives. So that's it for today's episode. If you enjoy our content and you get something out of it, please remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment. We still have plenty more to post from our 2023 season. And there'll be a lot more in 2024. So stay tuned and thanks for riding along with us. Have a good one. Mm -hmm.